Welcome to a Week 6 non-conference matchup as the Akron Zips of the MAC come into Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West. The Cowboys are 3-1 overall and 1-0 in conference play after last week's 28-24 victory over the Air Force Falcons. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into today's games. Defensive tackle Jaden Williams was named the Week 5 Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings going into today's games. The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game.
the Cowboys recruiting board going into today's game. And now, our Week 6 non-conference showdown, as the 2-1 Akron Zips of the MAC come into Laramie to take on the 3-1 Cowboys. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Akron Zips, taking on the winners of three straight, the Wyoming Cowboys. 40A Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock. The Zips will kick it off to get us underway. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Cowboys offense will have the first possession of the game. And here, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. The offense lining up for a first down play. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Using the quick game. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. They'll need three yards here on third down to keep this opening drive alive. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. He finds his man. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. The Cowboys come to the line with a new set of downs. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And he's all bottled up. And now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And ball security is starting to become a little bit of an issue for this quarterback. In his last game, he had a fumble. And he has another one right here. He has got to do a better job of keeping two hands on the ball. The offense starts with a short field. The give is to Williams. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. The Zips want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, running back on the move. Only a couple there and now staring at third and eight. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. No good. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. Here 
here comes the offense. Last time they had it, they put it on the deck. The football was not riveted to their rib cage, Jesse. Need five points of pressure moving forward, no doubt. I'll tell you, they knew coming into this game that turnovers were going to be critical. They might give themselves a mulligan for that one, David, but that can't keep happening. Yeah, but don't change who you are and what you are. Don't get gun shy because of mistakes. I think that usually turns into more mistakes. So keep doing you, keep being aggressive. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. And that pass picked off. Bringing it back. He's at the 10. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Akron. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He thought about bringing that to the 25. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks. But guess what? They do have it. So you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. They'll give it to him again. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. If you want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator, you pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. Leaves it with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quick. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Motion from the offense. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Trying to get to it. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They keep attacking through the air, looking to the big tight end. Makes the grab, and you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Man, 
I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And the Cowboys come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Calls his own number. A seven yard pickup, it'll be second and three. Man, the evolution of the quarterback position. Basically, you should call them running backs who throw the ball really well now. And guys, you know the other thing that happens here is that sets up the next play because you've sort of left the defensive line gassed trying to run down the quarterback. Oh, you got to be in shape chasing him around all day on design runs, on scrambles, and, you know, it's just, and the plus one advantage you get by having that guy. It's just, it's so hard to defend. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Quarterback just has to be more aware of the situation. First down, goal to go situation. You cannot take a sack. So the QB, if no one's open, you got to make sure you're throwing that ball out of the end zone and helping your offense out. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wyoming. And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. Just a second, the official's going to take a second look at this one. After taking another look, just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The way will stand. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. The Hawkeyes have been hanging in there, but they're going to need something to break their way, and soon. They're up by a field goal over Oregon. For now, it's back to you, fellas, but of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And what a job by the defense, seeing the quarterback throw the football, break on the football, no space allowed. As soon as he catches it, defender meet ball carrier and gets him on the ground. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it, hold it, up and, up and. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Caught in the backfield, it's Wilson. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair catch is just across the 50-yard line. Here comes the offense on first down. The give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. Fires to the right. He's got it. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll go to the ground. 
Not a lot there. Picks up one inside the 20 to the 19. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. He just tossed that one out of bounds. You avoid the sack. You avoid the turnover. You've got more plays here on third down. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket. Nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Couldn't find anywhere to throw the football, just got rid of it, and that's the number one thing. Avoid disaster here. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hash. It's good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The Zips take over, and Akron ready to get that offense to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. And the Zips want to crank the tempo. He'll pull it on the read. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the senior would love to have that one back. Just a little too much on the pass. The incompletion leads to second and 10. They move the tight end all over. Leaves it with the running back. Thrust that arm out. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Dropping back, it's Fenley. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Zips line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats.
We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. He wants to throw here on second down. Fires to the tight end. They'll move the change after he gets it to the 43-yard line. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? Just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. Looking for space. It's Scott. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. To the air, it's Svoboda. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. The give to the fullback. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. And David, this is where I think you could have excelled. And you're a great defensive end. There's other positions you could have played. Fullback, I know, being one of them. How about that guy there picking up the first? That's a nice job. Don't, don't make this hard. Don't make it overly complex. We've seen the big fellas block all the time. Give them a bone, reward them. Now they'll block harder and they'll block longer in the future. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. This offense is clicking, everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. Getting some heat. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Great job in coverage by the defense. He just had nowhere to go with the ball. The Cowboys decide to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And he'd hope to... Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Zips headed quickly to the line. To throw, it's Fenley. Fires to the wideout. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Zips will call on their punt team. Fair catch called for and made.
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Grabbed in the middle. It's Stevenson. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And if you had any questions about this quarterback's arm talent, now you've got your answer. Wow. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? This is one of the top 10 offenses in the nation in getting first downs. To do that, you got to have bounce. You can't always throw for it on third down. You've got to be able to run it as well. And they've got a dude in the backfield who just knows how to move the chains. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels foot fires and picked off and they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception and this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here two interceptions already in this game he's got to do a much better job with his decision making The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-whats. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Looking downfield, it's Finley. He lets it fly. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And the Zips will line up to punt it away doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll call for the fair catch. Offense getting set for first down. Using his legs at Scott. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Yeah, and a really nice job by the QB seeing linebackers are a little bit soft playing pass. Give the rock, hand it off, let the running back do the rest. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of six. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Makes the catch. It's Scott. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. 
All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And it wasn't lack of effort by the running back. He was trying. He could tell he fought one guy off, but another guy in his face right away, but just trying to do something. The offensive line needs to do a better job keeping some guys off this guy. Come on, man. Take care of your running back. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. To the air. It's Svoboda. Back open in the middle. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. And how good is it for a quarterback to have a running back he not only can just dump it off to, but can actually be dangerous as a receiver? Agreed, Reese. It's not just check downs or screens or swing routes or flat routes. This guy can get vertical. And he can all of a sudden start stressing defenses in the second level. What a weapon it is to have this guy in your backfield. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. This would likely be a chip shot for the field goal kicker, but they want the touchdown instead. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. First down here for the offense. He's looking to throw it. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Norton. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Makes the grab on the left. Building momentum. Picking up a chunk of yardage. Moving the chains out to the 34. Back to the air one more time. And that ball is picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Wyoming. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Iowa has the lead right now. Feels like it's been that way since the great Hawkeye wave. But this has been a nip and tuck affair in Iowa City. They're up by a field goal over Oregon. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Dropping back, it's Fenley. Got him downfield. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Looking to move it through the air. Gets it out quickly. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. They knock him down at the 40. It's a pickup of five, and that will be enough for a first down. He wants to throw. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. 
After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Campbell. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Third down play from the gun. Makes the grab over the middle. What a nice connection. Knocked down immediately, and they've got it at the 25. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. To the air on first down. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Caught over the middle. It's golden. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He's going to pass. And it's incomplete as he was trying to make the play in the back corner of the end zone. Play number 10 on this series. Back to pass. It's Fenley. Grabs it in the middle. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. On fourth down, they'll try to get something out of this drive before the end of the half. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 15, trying to find... And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Just enough time for one final play in this half. A run for the quarterback. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, who's got a better seat there today in Laramie than you do? And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the highest elevation in all of college football, War Memorial Stadium. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin.
will kick it away to start the second half. Here's the return from inside his tent. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. From the gun, the running back has it. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. The Zips are in the hurry up. They try to pop a run on the draw. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Back to throw, it's Fenley. He's going to run it. This senior quarterback never afraid to run it when he has to pick up a first down. And the Zips have this offense rolling. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. No chance to run, but still a good game. Up-tempo for the offense. Hand off from the shotgun. Knocked down at the 47. It's a five-yard gain and enough to move the chains. The Zips will line it up on first and ten. They'll ride the hot hand. Got room at the 35. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Norton. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Got it in the middle. It's Williams. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They'll try the run. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football. And you can tell maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small gain, but some information you gathered maybe for the next time you get to run an RPO. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off. And really good vision there, just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive yards. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Makes his connection. Gets away from one, finds some space. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they are going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. 
He's looking to throw it. Got his man quickly. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover. Pick up the first. I like the mitts. The big fella coming in with the catch. Hey, running a little bit of a route, showing a little wiggle, getting open, throwing the football. That's what he catch a big fella. Gonna run it. It's Scott. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. They'll try to bully their way for the first. This might depend on the spot, but I think he's going to come up just inches short of converting that third down. They were unfazed by that earlier fourth down failure and will try for a second time in this one. Run it with the fullback. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. He needed less than a yard, didn't hesitate, didn't think about the field goal, probably a little long for that, but they get the first down. And now that you've got it in a fresh set of downs, look at where they are in the field. They're sort of in that fringe area. There are a lot of coaches that like to take shots at this specific juncture of the field. Let's see what the offense does here. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll leave it with him. Across the 25, he's got room. And he is brought down, but what a move he put on that first defender. The Cowboys have it with a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. Got it! Down to the three-yard line, and that's where they'll have it first and goal. But when you're running the curl route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Cowboys! An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays, but how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Iowa is currently ahead in this one inside a jam-packed Kinnick Stadium, but the black and gold have struggled to really pull away. They're up by a field goal over Oregon. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Finds his tight end. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Offense gets set for second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Wilson. Makes a catch and knocked down. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Full start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And the Zips will send out the punt unit. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Boy, that seemed to be prime for catch.
On first down, here comes this offense. Give to the single back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. On the ground with the counter. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Looking to throw for it. Quickly to the tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to pass. It's Svoboda. He's got his man. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. Throws to the tight end. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. After the earlier field goal, they'll try again, this time a 43-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And now the lead is even bigger. That last score, just a little icing on the cake in this one as they get set to kick it away again. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Wilson. They make the tackle, but not before he finishes off this third period with a big the seal on this quarter here on first down he wants to throw they're trying to get to it and this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack that's a good example there of complementary defense the dbs and linebackers are playing zone they're playing their spaces and they force the qb to to have to hold the ball try to work through his progressions and then the pass rush they win up front Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. Scanning the field. It's Fenley. They've got the screen set up. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. On third down, he drops to throw. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. Unloads to the wideout. 
Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it, and now a fresh set of downs. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. From the gun, the ground game. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. The Zips come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the tailback. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. The holder will put it down on the right hash, a 33-yard try. It's good. Easy call for the refs. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job. Put a stop to that return at the 22. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. Wide out in motion. The receiver on the jet sweep. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep. And a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He's got his man. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Power football with the run. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. And the Cowboys are flying down the field. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. They'll snap it from the 30 on first down.
trying the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. Reeled it in and just made the house call. That one ought to give them firm control of this game, and they have gotten things going here, about to move to four and one. Salt enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns, a 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team out there getting set. Out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Trying to find his man on first down. Makes the catch. It's Williams. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Give to the running back. That kind of play will get a drive started or help your field position. They've got it at the 27. And the Zips will hustle to the line. A, a huge game. Um, probably would have loved to say this earlier in the game. Probably would have loved to have some of these runs and had a little bit more success running the football earlier. Now, I might think about maybe cranking the tempo and, and probably I'm going to need these runs. I'm going to need to go ahead and score on these runs or I'm going to need to start chucking the football. They go to the ground. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Zips will snap it on first and 10. Well, it's a good time to mix in the run play. You're down, it's late in the fourth quarter right now, and everyone's expecting you to throw, so not a lot of defenders in the box. So that's a great situation to try to run the ball. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Well, it's a nice change-up call on offense because obviously in the fourth quarter, you're down by a bunch of points and everybody in the stadium is expecting you to throw it to get back in the game. So you dial up the run play and you get a huge gainer. Hopefully that can give this offense the momentum they need to try to scrape and claw back into this one. I tell you what, they're down, but they're not out with this guy. They keep feeding him. He keeps having success on the ground. Maybe I use this now to catapult, use some play action, make some bigger plays down the field. But the run game has not been the problem today. And the Zips will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Solid pickup of four on first down in second and six. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Looking to throw on third and goal. It's complete. And he wanted the score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. They stop him short. I like it. This defense plays aggressive on fourth and short, and they are rewarded. Figured they would run the football. They did. Nice job getting some penetration and stopping that fourth down play. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. And this, this is a punch to the gut. When you know you're losing, and you know you got to get a stop, and you know they're going to run the football, and they still run the football down your throat. It's been that kind of day for this defense. Right back to the well. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. 
Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff that teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game, you want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop them? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. This offense has a second down play. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll give it to the back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. A third and long coming up here. on the move and he's not going to make it the defense denying him the first down and the defense is still fighting they, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of you know talking to the coaches coming to the game like they thought they had a good plan they'd be ready to attack and, and and limit some of the damage this offense has done they haven't done it today though they got to go back to the drawing board figure some things out because this wasn't a great day Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Jordan. They'll put a stop to that. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity, too, Reese, to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. They weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little bit. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That would be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this... And the freshman will chalk up a sack. The Zips moving quickly to the line. They get the timeout called. 11 seconds remaining to play. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Finley. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. One more play to pad the stats. They'll throw it on first down. And a dangerous pass there almost threw a pick in the end zone. That last incompletion leaves them with second and ten from the 21. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. A shot toward the end zone. And the pass will be incomplete, looking for a little window dressing at the end, but the ball game is over. 
all business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward. But ultimately, they were the better team today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 7 Mountain West Conference game has the Cowboys traveling to Fresno to take on the Fresno State Bulldogs.